Welcome in to Shade House. Shade House is a place where we have six people who all live together. We observe their reactions and how they live and we meddle in their affairs occasionally. Last week, Phoenix and Serica were both accepted into university. Herman has declared mortal enemies with the previous peeping Tom. Stella is officially an extreme sports enthusiast. So I'm curious what she will be doing going forward. Alexander and Jolene are kind of idling at the moment. I think we should focus on them this week. Let's see what happens this week in the House of Shades. Academic probation. Phoenix is on academic probation. What? Oh, she's uncomfortable. Morg like. Write term paper for video game strategies. And then Serica, you should come do your homework too. She's very uncomfortable. Why is it Morg like? Oh, it's too cold in here. Daddy Alexander's running around in the junk room. What happened up here? Uh. Hello? We need to go kick this. Herman needs to go on a date. We're going to go ahead and turn the heat up so that it's a little bit warmer in here. Because it's too cold. Jolene, come clean this litter box. And what's that? Mop, whatever that is. After you are done going piss, girl, we are going to go on a date. Who do we want to take out? We should take out Joaquin. Why'd you get fully naked to go piss, girl? I like that they only use this sink. They don't use any of these three sinks. Why do I have a fourth sink right there? Don't know. We haven't never gone out on a date with Brent. Do you want to go out with me? It's 8 a.m. Skip. Oh, it's Sunday. Don't go to church. Come worship at a different place. Hands and knees on the ground. Worshiping. Let's go to the beach. The beach is a nice place for a date, right? Who is this man? He just came over here and said, let me hang out. But at the same time, you are kind of like harshing this mellow. Can you go? You know what? We're going to go over here, Brent. Please go away. Let's hang out over here. Let's fire dance. His eye. I mean, this is extremely dangerous. But can I just say I'm very turned on by this. Do you like that, Bryn? Do you like that? Are you turned on by this? Do you want to come over here and make out? He's like, look at this booty pic. What do you think about it? Is it good? No, that wasn't something to laugh at. That wasn't something to laugh at. You were supposed to enjoy the booty pic. <laughs> Not us being... Bored. Not us being completely. Hello. Hello. You have an amazing body, but your face looks 18. I guess. Why is that? Uh, getting on your knees? Right here? Not getting on your knees right here, sir. <laughs> I'm on the middle of a date with somebody else. Oh, you're going to build a sandcastle? There's a whole ass beach here. And you had to build it right here next to my crotch. I'm on a date with this cute man. It was a date. It was not the most successful date ever. It really wasn't. A consolation prize? A book. Not a book. You know what? Let's go home. This has been... Ooh, you know what? Here, let's sing a song. Let's sing a folk song out here. Since you decided to come and ruin my time. Singing is terrible. <laughs> Do we dislike singing? Sure. He's like, damn, I hate singing. I'm not singing anymore. Oh, but that man said I like it. Go. Here's four dollars to shut up. All right, Alexander, you better boogie down. You better boogie down over here with your critically low energy. It's only 5 p.m. Let's check out on Serica. 
Maybe we shouldn't have. So we need to get gold in a commercial acting gig. Let's stop destroying Sim City for just a second. Just a half second. This freaking music, it sounds like a Stater Brothers. <laughs> Salty Suds commercial or Vladilus Hardware. We need to have high charisma. We need to have level two. Let's have you do your university homework. Where are you gonna go eat? Was this like the only peaceful place to come eat your salad at? You couldn't go anywhere else? There's, you don't, you didn't want to go to the dining room? Any of the many chairs that we have available in the house? No? That's fine. You know what? Live your truth. He has died and come back to life. I don't question Herman. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying your beverages. Are no. you drinking coffee? Herman said, I'm ready to be up all night. Why? I, you don't eat all these beverages. <laughs> Stop drinking coffee, sir. Please. You have to go piss, girl, now. The coffee shits is hitting. Where's Poncho? Has anyone... Who's this? Who are you? Takumi. Poncho said, hello, new friend. Update anxiety. Oh, poor Poncho's stinky. Oh, no. Poncho's got fleas. We need to take to the vet clinic right now. I know that it's late. We're gonna take you. Oh no. Oh no, Poncho. We have to take you to the pet hospital. Hello, I've got a pet emergency. I know, Poncho stinks. Please, I need you to move. Sign Poncho in for curing sickness. It's Brant. Hi, daddy. Here, let's bring Jolene here. I heard that my man was here. Oh no, people have been peeing all over the floor. This poor woman is like, I just came in here at three in the morning to help this poor sick cat and someone's peeing all over the floor. <laughs> Keaton is like, who's doing this? Who's pissing on this floor? Oh no, everybody's sick. <laughs> what are you doing, Poncho? Poncho, don't do it. Don't do it. Oh. Oh, Poncho, why did you just get in a fight with that cat? Poncho, no. Poncho, come sit. I, I'm so upset that Poncho's peeing all over the place, but it's so funny that this man did not come here for this today. Can we purchase pet items? Oh, we can. Boost your pet's wellness. Let's do that. Hello? Is anyone going to see my cat? Is anyone gonna see my cat? Are you? Oh, Brent is the one that's in here taking up time. Jolene, Aww. can you come in here and tell Daddy Brent to go home? Herman's just passed out. Oh, Poncho, baby. Give that treat. Let's give you a wellness one for right now. This is such an interesting day. We needed to go on a date. Uh, that dog was not here before me. I was definitely here before that dog. What's happening in here? What's happening, Jolene? Is this the time? Oh, you know what? You know what's even better than just singing in the dog hospital? A proposal. She's like, ah, now I know how to fix this. Okay, well, they're engaged now, which is great. Um, can I please have my cat be seen? Poncho's thrown up three times. This is unacceptable. We haven't gathered in a while. Perhaps we should all meet. I can't deal with you right now. Call me later. Ah, okay, so she saw someone else who was definitely not here before us. It's been 12 hours now. You already got examined! Ma'am, why are you still here? Let's go to a fireworks festival. Brent, Brent, I can't. We, it's been so long they canceled our appointment. Phoenix audition starts in an hour. I hope that it goes well. Hey, finally! All right, Jolene, get in here. Jolene, get over here. Hurry. What's wrong with my cat? Not the hamburger toy. Guadalupe, is this what you're paid for? Yes, it did. A uh, preventative shot. The shot will boost your pet from getting sick in the near future. Better be safe than sorry. Sure. Is that really it? We had fleas before. Oh, yeah. Poncho's a very good boy, huh? 
All right, Poncho, you did a very good job waiting all this time. You barfed up everything. You peed all over the floor. Oh. This is fine. No, You're a very good boy. Let's go home. A singular shot. How many hours is that? I'm bad at math. I'm gay. 15 hours that we had to wait for a a shot. I'm going to write the worst Yelp review. Oh, Jolene's getting a call. It's me, Brant. Do you want to go out on a date to the Izakaya Ipai? Okay. Ah. Phoenix failed her audition. Great. Uh, hello. I'm hungry for something. Rar, it's bear night. Can we order some food, please? Let's get some bread rolls. Everything's better with bread rolls. When I was at the Izakaya, I asked my bartender, may I have bread? Ah, now we're better. Now we're better because we have bread. <laughs> uh, I don't think this is what they meant when they said it was bear night. <laughs> Carissa Joner said, bear night? There are supposed to be gays here, but I'm going to be a bear bear. She understood the assignment. She made up her own. <laughs> there are two types of people at a bear party. There's Brant, and there's Carissa. <laughs> oh, Brant, this date is horrible. Oop. Well, that was a fun date. Did you have as much fun as I did? I certainly did. I would really like to go. And get out of here. I'll call this a cab. Are you done with your coursework yet? <laughs> Why are we just piling on plates over here? Phoenix's paper is looking pretty good. At this point, further editing won't improve it much. Although it may help Phoenix grasp the material better. That's fine. We'll submit it. I'm sure it's okay. Yeah, you're such a good boy. You're such a good boy. Let's go on a date with Joaquin. We need to get one more gold date. We'll go to a restaurant. It's nice and early. I think it'd be easy. Shea Llama. The gays like brunch. We like brunch. That's the gay agenda. Ooh, we look so good. Meanwhile, Joaquin didn't put any effort into this outfit at all. What kind of New Year's party hat in 1832 is this? Oh. All right, this is the gay agenda. Getting drunk at 9 a.m. and having brunch. Phoenix showed up to class but wasn't as prepared as she should have been and probably could have gotten more out of the class. She may need to do more studying on her own to make up for this. Phoenix is off to class. Okay. All right, I would like this table, please. Wait, where's Joaquin at? Oh, Joaquin changed. <laughs> Joaquin totally changed. Do you want to go do something? Let's go upstairs. Okay, well, I'll let y'all do your thing. We're super hungry. Wait, we didn't even finish our date. Well, I'm going to go home. Thank you for the rooftop woohoo. Well, I guess the date mechanic is broken too. Of everything else that's broken this time around. Hopefully after this update it'll be better. Well, at least we woohooed on the roof. So, you know, little victories. Ooh, who left all this food? The maid cleaned up. What did she do in here? <laughs> the maid did not clean. I'm so exhausted by this maid. Oddly heated discussion, an artist who uses odd mediums such as dirty bath water and curdled milk, ew, is always trying to encourage Alexander in a heated discussion. Should Alexander argue art theory with her or ignore it? Let's just ignore her. She's clearly unhinged. Although it's hard to ignore the smell of that curdled milk, Alexander does manage to ignore the artist. They paint in relative peace. Fine. What an oddball. All art is valid, but not all art is good. Feel the love. Earn satisfaction points from carrying your pet. Oh, oh Yagi. Oh. Oh. Oh, that was so cute. We should go out to the club. All right, here we go. Let's dance. Yes, those moves. Yes. Oh, hella. That, this dance move is hot. Even if Herman's kind of sweaty. This music is horrible, but I love this. Come through. All right, I'm going to go home, but thank you. 
This has been a very fascinating episode of Shade House. Jolene and Brant are officially engaged now. We had a couple unsuccessful dates with Herman. Serica and Phoenix are both doing pretty decently with their schooling, but they need to be studying a lot more if they want to get these next couple of weeks to go off without any hitches. Alexander has gotten a promotion at his job. We'll see what he does the next week if he wants to keep progressing his job. And Stella is trying very hard to get herself back in the spotlight with her fame. We'll see how long she wants to stay, considering that she's pretty much done everything she needed to do in Shade House. It just would be really sad to see her go. It'd be as, just as hard as it was getting rid of Samantha Karen. Like, it felt hard letting her go. I think it's going to be hard letting Stella go as well. But I'm excited to see what happens next week. And thank you for watching yet another episode of Shade House.